Hello everyone. Welcome to the Analytics Mastery Club. The objective of this session is to explain what sales analytics is and different techniques used by sales managers to improve sales performance of his areas. Well, the first question which arises is what is sales analytics? Well, sales analytics is analysis of data to track how your sales process and representatives are performing. It seems that every company has sales data, but almost no one does a good job of analyzing that data. The purpose of this session is to present some basic ideas on sales analytics that might serve as a starting point for any novice who might be assigned the task of analyzing a firm's sales data. Now, let's try to understand more about sales analytics. Do you know how do good sales analytics functions operate? Well, by improving distribution or sales strength by its width and depth. Well, width generally means in how many outlets a particular brand is present. For example, let's take an example of Mumbai city. Assume there are 50,000 outlets in Mumbai. Now, out of 50,000 in how many Coca-Cola is present? Let's say it's present in 40,000 outlets. So, its width is 80%. Moving on, depth typically means on an average how many different packs of Coca-Cola are present in Mumbai across 40,000 outlets where Coca-Cola is present. For example, Coca-Cola has different packs in half liter, one liter and two liter bottles. More number of packs of SKU in an outlet, stronger is the depth. Moving on, analysis of width can be done using two techniques. Firstly, numeric distribution and number of unique outlets build. In this analysis, we analyze sales penetration and unique number of outlets build by salesperson out of available pool of outlets. Secondly, lobster outlet analysis. In this analysis, we analyze outlets which were built in past but not built recently. These outlets are like low hanging fruit, can be easily convinced for doing sales. Moving on, analysis of depth can be done using following techniques. Firstly, weighted distribution. This analysis involves analyzing whether I am present in high throughput stores. Secondly, distribution quality index. This analysis involves measuring the quality and effectiveness of sales distribution. Thirdly, brands per outlets analysis. This analysis involves analyzing number of brands sold in particular outlet. Thus, in this session, we learned how sales managers can increase sales using two main levers, width and depth. In upcoming sessions, I will explain more about techniques described in this sessions. So friends, in the next session we will learn common sales terminologies used by sales managers. This will help us in understanding sales techniques more easily. Thank you.